Would you look at that face? Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. <laughs> yeah, that's that's happiness. Alright, so since last time we did tunnel through here on our way to the uh, algae mother load, and what have I got for priorities going on right now? Just a few of them in the area, just to, you know the easiest ones to get to. We are we are out of algae. Do need to plow into this. Let's see what else is going on. Um, oxygen wise, we seem to have kind of a bottleneck right here. So I'm gonna pop out enough of these to open this up a bit. I don't want to take them all out. If we get a hatch out of this and he goes running back and forth, I'd like to drop them into this space and kind of like uh, this one is right here. Then if I need to later, I can dig that out and drop them to wherever. We, wherever we want to route them to. So I want to leave my options available with some dirt because they won't uh, burrow into the, the tiles. They'll only burrow into the natural stuff. <clears throat> Otherwise, food's looking good. Lots going on over here. I did turn these back on. Uh, food was starting to fade a bit. So our 70,000 was down to 30,000. So it was time to get this going. And this is the predominant one right here, making the, the lice loaf out of these guys. These are kind of a treat, but this is probably our bulk food right there for now. Otherwise, I started mapping out a plan to deal with this. This water is just building and building and building. It's going to keep building, getting heavier and heavier. Going to have to deal with this. Kind of wish we'd had the ability to deal with it earlier when it was only half as much. Um, what I could do, potentially, is just break the plug right here and just let it run down fill up this whole area we're going to get the polluted with the clean and that's kind of a problem um, if it wasn't so hot 126 degrees I could build a wall there and a wall there and then poke it and only the little bit in between the walls would actually come down and the rest of it would stay stacked to both sides and then sealed up and we'd do something with those later. Eventually this needs to get emptied and this needs to get sealed up until we're ready to deal with it. It is a steam geyser. We've already got one down here, which is probably going to be our source of, of water for the base. And we've got a cold zone over here to run pipes through and try and chill it and get it back into here. But for now, we're going to need to deal with this somehow. We could also try to kind of poke our way through and and take this top part, except the clean parts, the top part, it's going to run down and mix up all this nasty stuff anyways. Another steam geyser. So, off this direction, we have to kind of go through our cold zone. That's not going to work either. Well, eh, it's not going to work easy. I mean, I could kind of poke it right here and run off the clean stuff down into the clean ice, get rid of all the polluted ice, and do something like that. But probably going to release either the chlorine or the hydrogen into the area too. Huh. I'll have to think about that. Give me, let me know your thoughts. It won't be happening this episode anyway. I mean, I, ideally I was going to set up a pump and start pumping all the polluted out into something and then move the, the clean water to somewhere. Don't know that we're going to have the time to do that. We'll see. Give me your thoughts on what to do with our, our ocean above. Otherwise, um, got up in here a little bit further, got a little more algae out of it, and found some pockets of algae out over here. So I've got these guys set up as nice. So come over and get them as so we find time. Um, need to kind of empty this area out through here a bit so that the natural gas has a, lower, a, a low place to drop. Over here, when I tapped this guy, even though I didn't get into any of these voids, we still had some hydrogen. Pause here. Not much. That's, well, that's 36 grams there. A lot of this was measure, measured in milligrams. Let's see if I can find any more of it. There's some right there. Yeah, more grams. So when it got down to four or three or two grams, it, it, there we go. There's, there's 20, 129 milligrams. So 2.8 grams. So at, I think below five, it drops down to milligrams. But, uh, so, there's some, it's not much. Put it all together, you've got the equivalent of, of what the oxygen is coming out of one of these. 
So I cut away a little bit up, up here so it would eventually work its way over and go up into a, an upper area where it is condensing a little bit more. There's 100 grams in that area. So all compacting into there. What are you? Your oxygen. Your oxygen, but very low concentrations. Okay. Let this run. We have a dupe waiting to be chosen, I think. Let's see. 35 is a no, 25 is a no, 0 is a possibility. Nope, we don't. There's nobody here that I want to get into. All right, reject you guys. We'll see who comes next. Otherwise, let's concentrate on the algae so we can get some more oxygen being formed so we can continue on till we get to where we can make oxygen mechanically. A lot of this is just stalling uh, tactics till I can get to the point where I can do some more building. So let's go ahead and up the priorities in this area. Um... Something like, well, I'll tell you what, let's just do it all. Let's just do it all. Okay. We, we won't necessarily keep it there. We'll do that until we get a you know, 500 or so ahead there and we'll move on to something else. Down here. Hmm. I'm thinking I want to get two pumps set up. One of them temporarily to pump the hot water into a cold zone and then back. The other one to start using the cold water. At least the water up, I assume, on top, which will be less warm. No, the warm will go to the top. The cold will go to the bottom. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But we're almost running out right here. So we're kind of running out of time to get this whole thing operational. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting in more of a temporary system. A pump at here or here and then start tunneling underneath and doing other things. Question is, will the water level drop out of that pump while we're working down here? That could be an issue. How do we get around that? What if we were to, see these are all already dug, so let's prioritize nine, eight for now. We'll get the other one done first. Eight's down to here, and then down every other. Not that one. Something that they can climb back up. Something like that. Yeah, we can even do it right there. Okay. Stick you back to a five to maintain the pattern. There we go. So if we were to do that, we'd have to get him built. So we can get back out of here. Okay. I would say... Even that one. Okay. So we run down. We can kind of jog our way down into here. Get a plumbing pump. Right there. Let's kick the speed up one. So they can be doing all that stuff in the background. Hopefully it will surprise me with all that they got done. And I can't see the priorities anymore. I'm pretty sure I could go to here or was it here? Yeah, let's take another peek. Yeah, I can put it right there. That shouldn't be a problem. Pump. You're going to go there. You're made of copper. All right. Like that. And pipe. Sandstone. We'll keep you as an eight. And I don't... Boy, I wish I could overlay the priority and this at the same time. All right, let me take another look at it. Right there. Okay. Try it again. Pipe. Yep. So let's go to here, and I'm going to let's see what that looks like. Well, I didn't hit nine. <laughs> okay, so with that, let's let's go ahead and do this again. Eights. Got to make sure we can get back out of here. So we're gonna go down to here. We could go to here now, to there. Nope, to there. The number is below where I want it to go, so it's kind of difficult to keep track of this. Like that, like that. Okay, so we want to take out these. There. And there's one I didn't want. Let's go back to a five on 
Now, oh, that one I got to do. So, I'm gonna drop down, drop down, two, one, two. Okay, that should work. And then, because we're all underwater, so we've got to be careful about this. Um, do I take out more over here? Is there sand in there? There is sand. We've got to be aware of that. I could drop down and make this uh, so we can't cross back up and get back up again. I think that will work. Now, the priority is at the end of the pipe. Yeah, just follow that up. Suffocating. Where? Oh, you're fine. You're, you're on your way out. Right? You're freaking out a little bit there. Come on, Cathra. Where's oxygen? Are we really getting that dangerously low? Right to here. So if I were to tell you <clears throat> to go, why can you not? What am I missing here? That's going back up. Are you? You're acting like you're trapped. What am I not getting here? That is strange. All right, move to out here. It's red. Why can I not move you? Cathra, move to. I cannot move you out of here. What am I missing here? There's no closed or, you know, locked orders on these guys. Oh, that's what I couldn't see right there. Ah, okay. Uh, priorities? We got nines on these. Okay. So, boy, what can I do? What can I do? Do we have the materials delivered? Construction pending. Awaiting materials. So we just need to get this one built. And can I get anybody else to do it? Hmm, okay. Okay. Priorities. Let's take all these down. Let's creep over to here. Wow, this is slow. We're down over here? We're not. We'll take these down to eights. And these are all eights. There's no other nines except these two. These will be eights now. All right, so anything else that we can do? You've got a tiny bit of oxygen right here. You just can't concentrate on it because you're dying. <laughs> Come on, someone else jump in there. Nobody else, huh? There we go. Now get out there and breathe. There we go. Now, still Cathra? Still Cathra. All right. So, that worked. Let's... Take you down to an eight, so we don't dig this out until these other two are built. There's Ebony to dive in there and no, to pick up some algae. Ah, okay. Trying to keep the uh, the oxygen going. Still have a suffocating going on. No, it's just there until she hits 100 again. She's back, and she's I need to eat. <laughs> okay, where was I? Let's. Algae is still pretty weak. Let's go back to this then. Prioritize. Let's see if we can't accomplish this through the first half of this episode. And then we'll get down into completing this one. So back to plumbing. You, that, and eight. Like so. I think I can go over. Something like that. Then where? What's our plan? We're tapping into here, so we're probably going into this point here. Alright, that one's done. Power? I'm not paused, am I? I'm paused. Don't do that. Power. There. Copper, because we don't have much gold. And gold is what? Overheat temperature of plus 90 degrees. Okay, so higher heat situations for gold. Save that for that. Eight. 
Take you up into here. And right there. Interesting, all the sounds mute when you're in this mode. I'm not hearing any sounds. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see who our next choice is. Do we have one? I'm seeing well-rounded here. And not too bad there. These are good. Alright, all these are possible. I mean, all these two are possible. Yeah. So, let's see here. One learning. Basically, one in everything. Except medicine and athletics. Over here, no learning. But better digging, better construction, better athletics, better cooking, better tinkering. Ha. Huh. Cannot research. Can fall asleep anywhere. Cannot cook. Grease monkey. Good tinkering. Iron gut. Eat about anything without getting sick. Which one? I don't have a clear-cut answer on that one. I mean, where one lacks, the other one gains, and and vice versa. Let's... I like the learning. And we're running into a, a situation where we're not going to be able to gain on that anymore. The research is almost done. So I think we're going to go here. I think I want learning in just about everybody here right now. So we're going to go with this one, and we're going to name this one. Who's next? Jafar. So Jafar... Welcome. And weepy. You're in. Now we need to build you a bedroom. Right there and right out. Okay. So, jobs. Jafar will not be doing art. But for the most part, everything else. We haven't gotten to where we're really specializing jobs yet. Hasn't been uh, that much of a priority. At least, not one of my priorities. Um... Working on here. So we want to up the priority probably on this bedroom soon. But not until we've secured the algae and got the water situation figured out. A lot more algae over here. Oh wow, quite a bit. Nice. Temperatures, 90, 93. It's all doable. How best to get into there? <clears throat> Probably right down like so. Except that this water's dripping that way. Ha. Huh. How do you deal with that? Temporarily, I think I would do something like this. Put you out. Like that. And then dig out right here. Water should drip off into here. Whereas this can be... Just like that. Laddered down. I'm doing this at a five priority, so it's not it's not counted as real yet. Then ha huh. Wish I knew what was down here. Could drain both of these into another void down there if I knew that, that was possible. I would say take this down as far as there. And then dig out like so. Dig out like so. Tap into that. And I would say... Yep. Probably something like that. Even something like that. And then ladder our way up a little and down into this later. So there's another possible place to start uh, working. But really want to get as much of this going as possible. Didn't know I'd taken out any phosphite. Phos phosphate? Phosphorite. There we go. Are we... And we're still... Oh, you know, good. We are cutting it up. Good. They do the construction first. So they spent all this time just getting the ladders built. Now we can finally start uh, doing something with, with all the labor that we've put in so far. I wish I gave more oxygen over here quickly and easily, but I can't. That's why I wanted to bust through all this. We should be... There's a nine. Should be uh, pushing... Hmm... You know what? Let's leave this open for a while. This one too. We're not so worried or concerned about open about uh, the hydrogen up in here. 
There'll be so little of it, it'll collect in this space. So let's leave this open. Now I've got to get someone to do that command. There. Come on, guys. You aren't nines, are you? They're going to ignore all orders like that. That's why I usually leave my doors at nines. There. Click, click. Now it's done. All right, so now we should get at least a little bit of trickle of oxygen into there. All right, that's good. Now where? Where are we at? This guy's running. This guy's been running fine. Trying to push down through the vents. Push down into the uh, carbon dioxide. And these guys have probably not been running all that much either. So let's enable them. Which is why the carbon dioxide has built up so much. Foods. We're having a problem with what? Irrigation I turned off. That's right. I didn't get into that. I turned off because of this little problem right here. Not having enough water. So soon we'll get that turned on again. I could put a burst into there. This is all sitting there waiting to be used. Let's do that. Let's pop a pipe in for just a little while. They'll do construction before they'll do dig, so I should dive over here and get this going here pretty quick. A lot of bars. You guys have all been up there digging, running out of oxygen. Alright, someone got the order? Yep. There's the materials delivered. And here's the construction. There it is. Alright, let's get a burst of water flooding into this area. And then we'll turn it back off again. And I could turn that off by metering this down. I could try that. Down to zero. Let it run for a little while. Let's look at the plants. Uh, from here or from the plant? From the plant. There we go. Good yield. So, wow, we've lost our excellent yield because we have lost our, our irrigation. Ah... Uh, there's a good down there. It's going to give us at least one seed instead of two. But... Yeah, that's iffy. Could make this one algae. Ooh, we're doing fine on algae now. Let's make this the next priority. Okay, so let's meter this guy down. Where is he at? Right here. So we're at about a thousand. Let's take you down to zero. How quick does that happen? He does not have a priority. I cannot... There. Ran over there and did it. Okay. So with that, we've, we've shut down. And these were running at... They were running at a thousands. <clears throat> so that update must have fixed the uh, uh, the liquid filters. The pressure, fil pressure valves, I'll call them. Anyway, let's get this guy going. So priority nine, which means I want to pull these out of here. Don't, I don't, don't want the competition. Eights are now this area. There we go. Let's run this right here for nines. So this cycle's goal be to get this done. Whoops. That wasn't good. Pull that back out. Five... There. Uh, it's this one. There we go. Now, do I need to pull out all the rest of the stone out of here? Was I heading for there? Yeah, I was heading for there. That's right. I was going to go here, but I was worried that the water level was going to drop too quickly by doing that. Okay, we'll have to try to take all that out as well. We'll see how that works. Hopefully nobody drowns. I'm thinking if I maintain this stair step in the stone, we'll always be able to get out. That's the plan. I'm going to look at this one more time. That one will be gone. See, so the nine is in the wrong space So I, when I look at it. So I've got to make sure that I'm really looking at this correctly. That's that one right there. Alright, we'll just watch them as they as they do the job. Which is when? 
They're taking care of all of the other maintenance stuff first. Yeah. Let's turn these guys down. Priority to eights. While we're doing this. While we're underwater, let's get rid of at least some of the distractions. Okay, we're down here yet? I think we're just starting to get there. Oh, I see. They've been working on the, the pipes up in here. Okay, so they're taking it in the order that they're closest to it. Bit of an oxygen problem in here. We know we'll have oxygen at this point. It looks blue here where the water level interacts with the uh, with the atmosphere. Too bad there isn't a, a rich oxygen burst right at the surface of the water where it's just naturally releasing. So it looks like this is a two cycle project here. Still going to be close. Okay, while they're doing that, they're not underwater yet. Let's look around otherwise. These are still nines? These are eights over here now. Okay. Temperature? We're finally seeing some results from this wheeze wart. Though there's still a tremendous amount of heat in this area. So we're still losing this one. It's still too warm in here. I think they want 85 degrees. 86 degrees. So over here we're at 86 point, 85 point. So right on that edge. Same, same there. Anybody in the water yet? No, nope, we're getting there though. Dare I go to speed three? I could. I'll do that. I'm gonna go to bed. Food? Still fine. Oxygen? Getting back. Back to some kind of normal. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good long run on these this time. This has already shut down. Good. We aren't out of power, right? You're shut down too. We're out of power. Hmm. So power is still an issue. I'm just going to zoom in here and watch all this. I always see this stuff from a, from quite a distance. It'd be nice to sit back and watch how everything uh, interacts in here. I'm going to take it back down a little bit, down to two speed. Watch how the uh, the water changes as the uh, uh, the different things move out of the way and create a void. Cold, losing oxygen, can still climb out. That's what I'm mostly concerned about, especially falling sand dropping down where you weren't expecting it and suddenly you don't have a pathway back out again. So they are building the pipes as well as the wires as well as digging. So three rounds plus bringing the materials to each of those items for each round. Alright, don't you get stuck out here digging. Climbing back up, we're good. One, two, then go up two. So far, so good. Here's where it starts getting a little bit more crazy. Where are we? Almost halfway through the day. Soggy feet. Stress, 14. Stress is looking pretty good right now. You're under there sucking water off the surface. <laughs> okay. Tell you what. I would just feel better if this ladder was in. That one space right there. It just looks better to me. Dig pending. What are we doing? We're busy running wheels, busy keeping the algae terrariums going so that we can keep the carbon dioxide dropping. Each time we take some of these out, more of the uh, the water drops down. Water level is going to keep dropping. That's what I was concerned about. We'd be right back in this situation again before too long if I put it right there. Ah, we've got a harvest going on. That's yeah, kind of right in the middle of our, of our plan here. These 
guy sprung to life. And, okay. Down here, we're fine. Harvest took over. Which is odd. Oh, the plants aren't harvest at nine, I'll bet you. Not the planters. Okay, that's why. Alright, got our ladder segment. Oh, it's going in right here. Okay. Two there. Yeah. Another dupe. It's one of the situations where I don't want too many, but I could sure use the help. So I would consider one more, bringing us up to ten. Learning. Yeah, these look like uh, no-goes. So we're going to reject these guys. Let's see if we can get this system up and running before we shut this episode down. By the time they do, we will have hit zero again here and we'd be you know, off to do something else like, like this soon. I've got it set up so that we're not all dropping everything to come and do a project intentionally. I could have everything at sixes and sevens so that when I hit nines, this is all they're going to do. But then we we lose oxygen, we lose power, we lose, you know, plants don't get harvested and on and on. Food starts to drop when you're not expecting it. I would prefer to take my time through a project like this if I can. You know, if it's not a real emergency. And still let some of them continue up there taking care of the place. When things are taken care of you, so you can see, they do come down in mass. They do come down and get a lot done. So, I'm, I'm content with this. Now, I want to make sure that these are not nines right here. Give a nice, even staircase in there. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Now, if you can build your materials out of the same materials that are in the area, that's an if, because there's situations where you don't want to, then it's so much faster they can pick up the sandstone right here and put it into this pipe right here and uh, start building. You don't have to run all the way back to storage to grab the parts and then come back. But some materials are better in certain situations, so you don't want to use sandstone in piping in your frozen areas that sort of thing. So that's not always possible. And here, this guy's making natural gas. I'm kind of wondering if we want to uh, shut him down for a while until we're ready to contain that natural gas. Um, you can get out, right? Yeah. Where is that? Cultivatable agriculture. Fertilizer, 1600. That will last for a while. Tell you what, let's go ahead and do that. Nine and disable. We've got enough fertilizer for a while. Once this is done, we could also take these two out. So I wonder if a hatch is going to be in there. That's possible. In which case, we're going to have hatch burgers. Because he's not going to survive. What could we do? We could dig out underneath and drain it that way, then pop it. That's possible. Then we can just come dig right on down the side here and grab the uh, slime and the, and the algae. Okay, let's go back to speed three. I do want to see if it's possible to get this done. Coming up on 35 minutes or so. There's an oxalite hiding in there. Would you look at that? I wonder if there's any more that's going to show up or if that's the end of it. Digging. All these are now exposed and available to work. That's why they, they lit up. Yeah, the further down we get, the more difficult it's going to be to be able to get them down here. They're going to get to a point where they will refuse to go any lower. In which case, I may have to uh, put these in as sevens right now. Do something like that. Yeah, something like that. Go across and then dig out a couple rows below and above and drop this water level down. 
it may be a case. If they don't get any further down into here soon, then we'll know we've hit some kind of a limit. And we're trying, but we're not getting much done. So what are we doing up here? Now let's watch uh, Handy head down. Oh, we're still... We're still trying. If we can get to stand right there, then I think we can get this job done. Otherwise, we have not replanted because these are eights. We've not swept these because they are eights. Unrefrigerated. We better get these swept. That and that. Get those put away. Which will wipe out all of our priorities here. I know that. That will take a few extra minutes. They will, it won't take them long to do this. There's not much there. Okay, we just grab the seats from up there. Oh well. So we've got got to go to bed. So that is the last of this project. What else? I really want to take out a section right here. What are our priorities? Water will be fine for a while once this is done. Algae is the next priority. And then tackle something else like this. And then algae again. And then back to... <laughs> we just kind of keep stepping back and forth like that until we get to a point to where we're a little more uh, uh, able to maintain. Alright, this is mostly cleaned up. One more round up there and that's done. Then we'll be back to this one again. So plumbing. We're looking good. Good enough to where we can probably turn this back on. Something like that. And Ebony turned it on for us. Great. So we're pumping out of here again. All these sweeps are done. Should be getting down below again. And we are. What's left? We're delivering igneous rock, but these are sevens. Come on, guys. Deliver the copper. Or can you not? Have we hit the limit? wonder if I should assume we have. Oh, will it say unreachable? No, it doesn't say something like that. They're just busy maintaining everything else. Well, we're at speed three. Let's prioritize as eights these guys for now. Uh, fives there. Fives there. Eights. Those guys, you... And even the wheels. Oops, those are fives. Anyway, let's use that as kind of a way to verify before we run out of day that they truly cannot get to this one. <clears throat> we're running because we're already on the wheel. There, set you to an eight. What was the other five that I hit by accident? Right there. Set you to an eight. Okay. But we're not heading down here anymore. Okay. So that kind of answered my question. Prioritize nine. Let's do what? You guys through here. And I would say a couple rows below and a couple rows above. Something like that. Okay. And we'll go ahead and hit ladders. This time we'll put in sandstone. And we'll set it at the nines. Right there. And here we head down. And you left immediately. I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, we're still on threes. So I wanted to prioritize that one that got missed. Right there. 
Make sure we can get back out of here again. You were working on it, weren't you? Huh. Well, they are still going to deliver and build before they're going to dig. And we just built one right there. Is anybody... Ah, we are delivered. Okay, so it is functioning. And they will be able to do it. Good. So we'll get into the next cycle, get this finished, and call this one an episode. These guys are funny. I like them. Boink. Eventually we got to get into playing with our... What were these called? Morbs. Morbs, an agile, disease-ridden invertebrate. It is attracted to the decomposing carcasses of disease, uh, yeah, diseased organisms and frequently emit small bursts of polluted oxygen. What they don't say there, it's kind of frustrating, is you put them into an area with chlorine, they'll breathe that in and convert out polluted oxygen. So that's one way to get rid of your chlorine. All right. Guys, are we going to finish this? We're, we're harvesting again. Wow. We do make an awful lot of these. This time we're not going to sweep. If it doesn't do it on its own, we're going to get down into here. Got to get this guy built. That just broke down and collapsed. Alright, is anybody going to get stuck over here? So far, it looks good. Alright. Ah, we are able to reach it. Good, good, good. Still watching everybody. Make sure nobody is going to get uh, get lost in here and, and drown. Water level's dropping. Building. Nuts and bolts and wing nuts and tacks and washers. All kinds of great stuff flying through there. Why did... Murphy, why'd you drop down there and drop back... Hit back up again. That's odd. Ebony's almost going to finish it. Alright, Natalia. You got it. And now we're out of power for the whole base. Alright, you go back to a 9. You, back to a 9. And you can stay at an 8. But these guys have got to get back to a 9. So I may go back later and kind of rework the prioritization to where 8 is the new 9 so that we can just concentrate on uh, projects like this. We don't have to tinker with the other things. Don't have enough other things to worry about it being uh, uh, difficult or frustrating. You know, you get a base ten times the size, then you've really got to think through that. But our base is still pretty tiny. We're not that far into the series yet. Otherwise, we're pumping. This is what I wanted to see. Let's take you back down to a one. There we go. Pumping up into here. This one... I guess I can work next and just work him back and forth and end up in this water into there. In fact, this could turn off. Yeah, really good. Let's just... That's not it. Right there. Gotta pop out of this mode. There we go. Let's disable you. Not run the power. Just run the power out of this one. I'll get this water dribbling on down in here. So I'll take some time after this episode and kind of mine all of this out and get us ready for whatever our next big step is. Go out and find some more uh, algae and... and uh, get his breathing again. So with that, I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.